I have been dreading the next thing I'm about to say. This is my last performance at the Dearborn Open Mic. The reason is that uh, our venue is changing. We had a season planned until the end of the year. Uh, but for circumstances outside of our control, we can no longer hold the Dearborn Open Mic, which is uh, often held every, Thursday, every Wednesday at 7 p.m., third Wednesday of the month at 7 p.m. Um, we're not able to continue that here at this venue. So the venue is changing, and I have to make the decision to step down as the host of the show. However, to me, that's not the end of anything. This is the beginning. Wordman is here to stay. I'm going to take a little bit of time off. I'm going to find the next way forward. And I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, with you and with everyone in this community together, I want to work with you to create the renaissance of the 21st century here in the United States, the next cultural revolution. And it's going to be our story. And we're going to learn from our brothers and sisters in this country who've paved so many great ways forward for us. You guys are my brothers and sisters. And I want us to go forward together and tell our story because we're not here forever. And that's okay. It's okay that we're not here forever. Who the heck wants to be here forever? Look at this place. Look at this world. But that's the language of despair. That's the language of despair. I hate the language of despair. It's dark. And it's not real. It's not real. I want to close with one more poem. What's real is what lasts. And what lasts is the stories we tell ourselves about ourselves. Give me a second. I just want to find this. It's a really good poem. This is a poem called Azamandius. It's a sonnet. Sonnet means that uh, the last two lines of the poem are the punchline. So just listen for the punchline. It's a very simple poem. It describes rubble. A big mess of rubble in the middle of the desert. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two fast and trungless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read, which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on that pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. Here's what I'm trying to say. We don't care who Ozymandias is, and we don't give a damn what his rubble and built was left, and what he left behind. But Shelley's poem is still with us. The poem survived and the king died. Let's create our story, guys. I'm word man. Find me, follow me, keep around, I will be back. I will continue to work with you. I will find a new platform. We are going to grow, we are going to go forward. And I'm going to do it for the same reason I've been working with you for 15 years and for the rest of my life. It's for us. It's for our community. It's for our students. It's for my family. It's for our family. I want to end with this. This show was titled, Word Man Talks About Love, Part 2. And I think a lot of times when we say love, we assume romantic love. Which, of course, in Part 1 it was. I talked to you about the saga of the beautiful girl. Oh, the beautiful girl. I'll be back to tell you more about the beautiful girl, I promise. Man, she, she keeps me busy. 
You know, I could think about her with despair, but I don't. I think about her with hope. One day it's all going to work out. I swear to God. One day you're going to be like, yep, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did it. I don't know how he did it, but he did. This little guy. This is the love of community. It's the love of family. It's the love of brotherhood. It's the love of country. It's the love of nations. It's the love of each other. It's divine love. You know what divine love is? Divine love is forgiveness. When we say divine love, it means we forgive someone. When we say we truly love someone, do you know what we mean by that? It means I'll forgive you no matter what you do. That's a parent's love to their child. Whatever you do, your parents can forgive you and therefore they love you. That's divine love. The highest form of love is forgiveness. That's the love I wanted to talk about today. Guys, we walk around carrying so much baggage and resentment. And I can't believe he said that to me. And oh, did you see how she looked? And I, when he said that, and we're just walking around our guts and knots. Love is forgiveness. First person you got to forgive is yourself. A lot of us walk around with the belief that we are a burden, that we let our loved ones down, that we did something so wrong nobody can forgive us. Bullshit. We're good people, guys. You're not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. We made mistakes, we forgive ourselves, and then we go and seek forgiveness. It's okay. So we need to start with forgiving ourselves because we didn't let anybody down. We're doing our best. Everybody in here wakes up every day and does their best. We just try to make it to dusk every day. You're doing your best and the odds are against you and the world is not on our side. But we wake up and we do our best. We have to keep doing that. After we forgive ourselves, we need to realize that everyone else is doing their best and we should forgive them. You text somebody and they don't answer, they're having a bad day. Why do we assume they've abandoned us? <laughs> we're abandoned. No, we're a family. And it starts with forgiveness. Self-forgiveness and then forgiveness of others. I ask God to help me forgive myself. I ask God to give me the space within my heart to forgive others. I hope if I've wronged anyone in here, you forgive me. I never meant it. I hope if I've said something or offended someone, that you forgive me, never meant it. I hope that you can find someone today and say, look man, I know what happened before, forget about it, it was okay, it was, it was the pandemic. You know what I mean? It was the apocalypse, we all thought we were gonna die, okay? It's gonna be okay. We have to work forward together, guys, and it's, it's, together is the only way. It's not gonna work any other way. I'm pressed for time, I gotta stop here. I want to thank everybody for coming out here today. The Dearborn Open Mic will continue. I just don't know how, so uh, please keep an eye out at, for, um, for more information from Dearborn Blog. There will be more posts. I promise you this is not the last you've seen of Word Man. This is the first you've seen of Word Man. This is the introduction. Just wanted to show you guys who I am, come up here and flex for you tonight and going forward. Keep an eye out. Find me at Real Word Man. I'm all over the place, guys. I'm on social media. Uh, I'm here in the community. Call me, text me, whatever you got. Reach out to me. I'm your friend and your brother. And we're going to go forward together. Let's take this as a time to reflect. Let's pass on any knowledge or peace or wisdom that we may have gained today. And I love you all. God bless you and have a good night.